An aquaponics farmer believes there is always room for growth in the local Cascadura market and says this type of farming could add significant value to the economy. Sinalala has more in tonight's Business Insight segment. Shivan Kurban, the owner of Fish Fins Titi, has been rearing Cascadura fish commonly referred to as Cascadu, just prior to the start of the pandemic. Kurban said he initially started off as a koi hobby, but realized that the market was saturated. This is where he said the Cascadu market and even prawns piqued his interest. There's a lot of effort um, that you had to put into, you know, producing the, the babies. Um, but in terms of profitability, it's pretty good. I mean, a lot of people in Trinidad and Tobago are interested in Cascadu. Kurban has numerous tanks rearing close to 1,500 fingerlings and adult-sized cascadu and noted that the TNT market could never be saturated. There's always room for growth, especially with food-related items. Um, a lot of people prefer locally raised fish versus fish that are brought in from Venezuela or um, caught in mud. You know, a lot of people might think that you know, the fish on the mud ponds would be better, um, but the fish that are grown in these kind of controlled conditions, they tend to be a lot better in this. He also designed an autonomous system to ensure a good turnover. If a tank is connected to another tank and you have a disease outbreak, then it will spread throughout the entire system. And then the effort that it will take to sterilize the system and the amount of wastage or water and things you would have, um, it wouldn't be worth it. He admitted though that fish feed rose by almost 50% over the last few years, which has been a major drawback for his business forcing him to make some price adjustments. So I did increase my price by but just by 50, 50 cents, you know. Um, just to still stay competitive, but also in order to, you know, help people. But the adult fish, I still keep that price the same. It's just the fingerling price, I vary. So if there's anything that they want less than, you know, 100, it'd be $5 for one. Over 100, they would get it $3.50 for one. Kurban, who was a recent recipient of an agro-incentive grant from the Ministry of Agriculture, intends to expand his business in the coming years in a bid to encourage and boost the agricultural industry. More space, more fish, more shrimp, you know, it will be, be significant. I think the people of Trinidad and people will be glad about that, you know, it would allow them to have fish that they love to eat year-round. Mr. Kurban, though, said while there are incentive programs to encourage young entrepreneurs, he believes more technical knowledge and training is critical to ensure an efficient business. I am Sonolala with your TTT News Business Insight.